Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you live on YouTube. Man, uh, just got back from SummerSlam yesterday. It was way, way too much fun. Uh, hit up SummerSlam Access, met up with uh, my buddy, uh, Freaking the 88, Luke Cage, um, Above Average Muda, met a whole bunch of other people. Um, for those of you who don't believe that uh, people watch your videos and uh, you get out there, dude, Freaking the 88 was taking pictures with his fans, shaking hands, shaking babies. I should have made uh, those 8x10s. People really bought them. Uh, I posted a picture of him uh, yesterday of him taking pictures with fans. I couldn't believe it. Uh, that guy's way, way famous. Totally cool. Uh, all the wrestlers at Access were way, way too nice. Um, I couldn't believe how nice those guys were. Um, when we were waiting in line, Vince McMahon uh, pulled up, and he uh, got out of his limo, walked right in the front door like a jobber. I couldn't believe it. Actually, took some time to uh, take some pictures with some uh, Joes just standing there on the street corner, marking out like he was crazy. I posted the video. Um, a bunch of people watched it's a video before this one if you haven't watched it. Um, but uh, we, we got to go in. We got to meet, uh, meet Edge right off the bat with the VIP tickets. Um, when, when we went in there, Edge, first thing he did was notice my Jack Swagger shirt, made fun of me for it, said um, I didn't even know Jack Swagger had a shirt. Went from there, went down, met uh, Jack Swagger where he signed my... Um, he signed my deal, my, my uh, figure uh, from Mattel, and then I was able to uh, slide my um, 8x10 in there for him. Uh, I know it's a douchebag thing to do, trying to get two things signed, but um, the, just like uh, Ravi said, uh, just keep talking to him, and uh, if you don't shut up, uh, just start shoving the stuff in front of him. Most of the time, they'll just keep talking to you and sign in whatever you got, so um, that worked. Um, from there, we went back to the car, dumped some stuff off. Uh, the longest line we, we uh, waited in. Uh, with Slaughter and Piper. Uh, Slaughter got there before Piper did, so the people that were before us, um, maybe for about 10 minutes, didn't get to meet Piper, but it was uh, a really, really cool thing to do. We actually had a conversation with uh, with Piper in line. Um, uh, we, I don't know, I asked him if he was going to be burning a, a Hogan shirt with Slaughter later that day, and, uh, <laughs> and then we, that turned into talking about Austin's movie. Uh, the Expendables that was coming about, um, just really, really cool, and just taking his time out and just uh, talking to jobbers like us. But um, and that line took a long, long time. Uh, from there, we, we basically just just walked the uh, the midway. Uh, we yelled at Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox um, heard us and uh, waved at us. Um, yelled. Uh, roast beef at Maurice, and Maurice just gave me a, a look like she didn't know what the hell I was yelling about. She knew what I was talking about. Um, I don't know. Got to take my picture and got to make it look like I was in a Mattel figure. Uh, a whole bunch of cool stuff like that. It was it was a way, way cool day. And then uh, uh, went and had lunch at the ESPN Zone, went into the Staples Center. I think it was easier to get into LAX, uh, the airport, than it is to get into the Staples Center. Um Long, long lines getting through metal detectors and everything. Uh, way crazy. It's, it's a lot different than uh, sitting in the Arco Arena in Sacramento. Um, the reviews that, uh, that people have put up there, everybody mostly hated the show. Um, being there sort of sways your vote. Um, the matches, um, they, they weren't the best. The, the summer, I think when it's all said and done, I don't think this is going to be the worst SummerSlam of all time. Um, real, real good show. Um, they were using it to build a lot of storylines. Um, I, I shot some video in there. I wasn't able to bring the flip in. I knew they would catch it, so I just didn't even try. I brought my normal, uh, night game camera. I shot a lot of video in there, more videos than pictures, because I was sitting in the 200 sections, but I got my reaction of, uh, when they brought out, um, Daniel Bryant, uh, for the, I always call him the T, Daniel Bryant. For the uh, the main event, uh, way way cool. I had my phone sitting in my lap and I had my camera around my neck. And when he when they announced it, um, I stood straight up to cheer and I felt my phone fly off my lap. And from the feeling of where it um, uh, where it flew off my um, off my leg, I thought it flew like a hundred feet. Lucky lucky me that when I stood up, the guy in front of me stood up, and I think it hit off his back and landed at my feet. So I was able to retrieve my phone back. Um, but it, but it was a, it's a way real, real cool experience. Um, I'll be able to show my stuff off when I get home. Uh, the video upload where I'm staying right now is, uh, very, very slow, so I'm not able to make a real good video. This is a video off of, uh, 
the YouTube site off my webcam, so I know that my words will not match uh, my mouth, so I apologize, but just wanted to get it out there saying it was a real, real cool show, and I will be at Raw tonight, sitting uh, ringside with Yaya. I believe it's going to be a TV side. I don't know if we're like in the real, real good TV sections, but uh, we're in row six. I am going to bring my camera this time. <laughs> well, I brought my camera last to the last Raw, but I am going to bring my battery for my camera this time, so I will be taking pictures. Um, I'll probably wait till I get home since there's going to be better pictures than using my phone. I'll probably load them on a TwitPic. Uh, in, in the next day or two, uh, but I'm looking forward to having a real, real fun time. Um, people who subscribe to me on Twitter, I really need you to uh, send me a tweet today before I get there. What I honestly want to do is I want to do just tweets from this show, but I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But if I don't, if I get enough people saying that I don't really care, I'm going to send a tweet what's actually happening from the taped show that's after uh, Raw tonight. Um, I, I really want to, but if I get a, you know enough people saying like they don't want me to spoil the show, I won't do it. But at Stevie Breach, I'm sure enough of you already follow me as it is. Um, but it's gonna be real cool. I hope to see as many as you guys as as I can that were there. Uh, for the people that I met there uh, when I was sort of just like uh, being yeah, yeah sidekick, and whenever somebody would talk to him, and I'd shout my name in there for him and shake their hand and, and tell them to uh, check out Stevie Breach. Um, if I haven't sent you a message saying it was cool to meet you yet, um, I honestly uh, forgot your name. Doesn't mean that I, I don't. Uh, want to check your stuff out? It just means that uh, your name's too long and you have numbers in it. And I can't remember stuff like that because I'm a reader. Um, so uh, basically, uh, send me a message and, and say what's up. And uh, this is Steve Breach. Thank you very much. Cool, cool.